And then of course we're back up in 100. Yeah. But it's funny because my fiance, she hates it out here. She's gonna lie and say she really she likes it, but she she's just a hot person. Like Painted Mountain Golf Course, got my boy David Gannis and sharing Jesus through golf. Roll the clip. Watching my steps like I was James Harden. Guarding me is like Garden Jordan. You can't afford it. I shoot like Wardell in clutch moments. Regardless my opponents, I try to keep it honest as I write these little sonnets Under wraps like my name Adonis, my daughter Mix like her name Adonis I keep it straight as an orthodontist, never become pompous, that's my promise I'm conscious of the garden when my fruit tends to harvest, yeah yeah Skating on tracks like I'm Sidney Crosby uh. What's good guys, I got my guy David Gannon in the cart If I do nine holes at Painted Mountain Let you know Go. three quick rules real quick to my channel All right. Uh, one, I encourage everyone to love Jesus. I know you do. That's why you're the homie. Secondly, bro, you get one breakfast ball. Oh, that's only it. one. Only one. That's it. It goes for me too. Now. Okay. Okay. And two, ain't no gimmies on my channel. You gotta finish your putts out, bro. Deal. Here we go. So let's get out there. Deal. Woo! You been out here before? Yeah. 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 Let you know that though. My guests always go first. Okay. On you. Okay. Here we go. You cutting the corner or what? Hey man, I'm just trying to keep it in play. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Sit, sit, sit. Are you good? Oh, did it go over? Yeah, I think. All right, it's fine. A little drop. Might be my breakfast. <laughs> Might want to use that wisely. Guys, I always say too, man, every time I play new guests, I never have any film on them. They have all the film on me, so. <laughs> they know what's probably to expect. Hopefully I'm on my better day, though. Bend it. Oh, too much. Oh. Oh, oh it might. You might have a shot. I think I'm gonna drop right there. <laughs> I don't love water on the first hole <laughs> in golf. Or water really anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> All right, I think we're both gonna be dropping, unfortunately. <laughs> I tried to bend it, went right in the water. He sent his a little too far. But, um, <laughs> bro, so what's your faith background, man? Like, when did you come to know who Jesus was? Yeah. Is, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I grew up in, in South Alabama and parents, uh, I grew up going to church. Nice. Uh, of course, we know we're not born Christian, but yeah. you can be born into a Christian household. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. my parents taught and modeled the gospel for me. Mm -hmm. I had two older brothers, kind of did what they did, sports, and uh, tried to make good grades. And yeah. kind of thought that was, I mean, I, I would say I, I trusted Christ at a young age. Mm -hmm. It's when he began to work in my life. But yeah. of course, we know that it's a process. It's, a sure. sprint. it's, a, it's not a sprint, it's a yeah. journey. Yeah. And, you know, there have been ups and downs, mm -hmm. but hopefully progressing towards becoming more like Christ Absolutely. every day. Yes, sir. Um, so yeah, at a young age, came to faith and really grew a lot in high school and even in college when kind of went off and realized you start making decisions for yourself. Yeah. And uh, you're choosing more of choosing your friends and who you hang out with and yeah. what you what you believe in, what you're a part of. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that's that's a little bit, a little bit about me. That's good. That might be your ball right there, actually. Uh oh. So you might be in two. I'm for sure. It may, I might. I might be right. I thought on I. The yeah. Let's see if this is it. Oh boy. Need the root rules on golf and gospel. <laughs> I'm gonna play it pretty safe here. Hopefully. You reimburse broken clubs, right? Oh, not me. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Oh. Yes. Um, take a five. Caddy and player today. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Way to be of service. I'm cool with that. Work on my tempo here. You find it? Was it in the dirt? Yeah. In the sand? It was in the. It was muddy. Oh yeah. That's so crazy, bro. I gotta drive the green. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Gibson. <laughs> Gibson. Always oh, that first hole. How long yeah. you been playing? Three years. I've been taking this last year seriously. Dude, that's a, that's yeah, yeah. And it's I mean, hard I, to pick up. I, I just took a lesson. I have been, so I'm just trying to apply that stuff. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, just letting you know, I've been playing since I was 13. And <laughs> Why am I doing that? All right, well, that's encouraging, at least. All right, man. Hey, guys, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. I put too much expectations on myself. 
I told myself not you to just, have any. You just told me no expectations. But you, well, I, I put it on put myself, <laughs> though, on myself. I just don't want anybody to think like they got to come out here and get a course record. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I can get him the chunk of chip twice. <laughs> and maybe five putt. Shoot, I don't know, man. Still got a chance. They're hitting it all over the place today. It's amazing. I've been started playing when I was like 13. Yeah. And I still feel like every day I wake up, if I went and played every day, yeah. my golf swing would feel different. It. Dang it. Two ball flights in a row. It's progress. <laughs> and I don't know why they have to make the first hole the hardest. To discourage you for the next 18. <laughs> then Rom uh, double bogey the first hole win the Masters. Did he? Yeah. Possible. Oh, uh, yeah. Those last oh. four were encouraging. <laughs> Ain't triple the par. Could be worse. Could be quadruple. <laughs> All right, guys. Pure embarrassment on my side. I got David got the par. It's great for him. <laughs> um, one thing neither were very pretty. No, yeah. Neither, <laughs> neither of us. I, I would switch spots you at any moment if you wanted to. <laughs> one thing you said, too, which I feel like I kind of relate to at this moment, is like talking about like how friends essentially may tend to change based off, you know, your true, like, obedience to Christ mm. or surrenders to him because mm. <clears throat> there's a difference between just saying, like, you know, I believe in Christ and not walking it out so you then you still have those same friends. But then when you truly start to surrender, there might be some cause for separation. So I just want to hear if, if you experienced that because I know you said something about friends. Yeah, like for that. sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, you know, one of the blessings in my life mm. – um, was kind of growing up in high school, and I, and I try to say this, I realize it could come off prideful, but I was kind of yeah. like a good kid. Like, I didn't yeah. really get into a whole lot of trouble. Yeah. And naturally, I just, and, and this is, I, just, I don't say naturally to me, but the Lord just blessed me with good friends growing up. Mm -hmm. And I still have some of, I'm still close with a couple of guys from nice. high school, but really in college, yeah. I felt like my freshman year had no friends. Mm. And I felt like I was in this big ocean. And I was around all these people that were just debaucherous and drank yeah. all the time and mm. did all these bad things. Right. Yet I knew in my heart I had my own sins. I was dealing for with. For sure, for sure. And uh, but you know because they weren't outward, people mm. couldn't see them. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'm I'm on a pedestal. I'm up right. here. Right. And they're down here. But then the Lord started bringing new friends at when I went to Bama, uh, my freshman sophomore year. And really, I mean, of course, He changed my life the most. But my yeah. friends, mm. you know, to this day, I was telling somebody this last night. Literally, I could call probably 10 to 12 guys right now nice. and we could just hit it off like we've been hanging out every day and they live back in the south and oh, i yeah. live out here in phoenix Amen. yeah so luckily i haven't had like to change my friends a whole lot because mm. the lord's blessed me with great friends yeah um through through each stage and now that i'm you know been married a few years and have young kids yeah i feel like we're uh you know our church community is huge yeah. and trying to plug in there yeah um but yeah that's awesome, yeah. man. And obviously, there's a, a huge, huge importance of community, right? For you sure. Know, uh, encourage each other in the gospel, having mm. someone to righteously judge you, to mm. steer you back um, towards a um, a path that's obedient to Him. And uh, I would learn, I would love to be stirred back to a path of maybe a part here. So we will see. <laughs> I'm okay. Y'all good right now? I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Wow, green and red. We'll take it. What did Paul say? Follow me as I'm of Christ. <laughs> Try to follow David as he's on his green, bro. <laughs> Faded right. Stay in though. Think it did? I know I'm swiping at the ball. I think it did. Oh man, one day. It's a journey. <laughs> Play it for life. Nice. Wow. 
Here we go. Can you pull this one up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now pull his car. Nice check on that. Thanks, man. How do you do that? That was impressive. I'm a little scared at how hard I'm going to have to hit this. You hate playing downhill, though. You want to finish? I'll finish. Yeah. Try to finish. <laughs> All right, Parski. All right, Jaren. Ah! Uh, got scared because it was downhill. Yeah. Bogey. Tough when they're slow downhill because you know. Dang it! You know what? It's better. It's better. <laughs> She's trending up. There was nowhere I can go lower than that first hole, and I hope that I don't get humbled and go lower than that first hole. <laughs> Still thinking about that chip you hit. Yeah, yeah. I told Noah over there, I was like, my chipping is going to be on for sure. That was special. So you're a part of Golf and College Fellowship, and I encourage a lot of guys to look this up. Uh, but tell us how that program started. Yeah, so uh, CGF, we're a, we're a nonprofit ministry um, in, the, in the world of golf. We're looking to, to spread the gospel, for sure. and, uh, mainly at the, at the college level, but then our, our founders are the chaplains on the PGA Tour. Nice. And then we have a presence on the mini tours as well, Corn Ferry and yeah. some of the smaller tours um, over the, all across the country. But yeah, back in, uh, it really started, kind of the concept started back in 1980, but then in 2000 um, was when CGF really kind of rebranded mm -hmm. and realized that we're about relationships and building relationships and getting in the lives of really just evangelism and discipleship nice. um, with with um, college golfers and coaches. Yeah. And so you can imagine, you probably don't realize it, but there's there's tons, I think there's like 1,200 uh, teams. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all levels, so we're not just D1, you know, the okay, ones yeah, you've heard yeah, of, sure, but yeah. D2, D3, NAIA. Yeah, yeah. And so we've got staff all over the nation. Yeah. And uh, really since about early 2000s, they've been hiring guys. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're really just field staff. And so I'm, I'm the staff guy in Phoenix. So nice. all the colleges here, yeah. um, I reach out to and, yeah. and meet with and just try to, our, our slogan is golf, life, and faith, right? Yeah. So obviously we're ministering to guys who are in the in the world of golf. Yeah. They play they play college golf mm -hmm. um, or professional. Right. Um, and so, but we also know that golf is kind of this little microcosm of life, right? Mm -hmm, for it's sure. It's so relatable. Yeah. And it's such a, <laughs> it's, it's frustrating at yeah, times, yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah. But then there's moments of triumph where you're like, mm -hmm. oh man, I, I, you know, I kind of, I see the light here. Yeah. Um, and it may sound kind of silly, but really in life is, uh, it, it's very similar. Yeah. You know, we go through, it's a long journey. Mm -hmm. We have different relationships, we have ups and downs. Yeah. And most of all, everybody, whether they think so or not, they've, mm -hmm. they've got faith in something. For sure. Right? Totally agree. And so, you know, we say golf, life, and faith. Mm -hmm. We say the, the best for last, yeah. faith. And, and our whole deal is we, we want them to know how to enter a personal relationship with Jesus yeah. and walk with him their yeah. whole life yeah. and, and be a disciple and, and be, uh, yeah, because we, we believe that's where that's where joy true joy is. Yeah. And we're not going to find it even in golf, yeah. as fun as it can be at times. Yeah. It's not going to bring us true satisfaction yeah. and enjoyment yeah. and contentment. So. I think you said. I think I saw on the website too. It's like you're trying to win people to the gospel through golf, but also outside of golf, right? Totally. It's yeah. not just excluded to the sport. Yeah. And I, I had an episode with my boy Chris, and we used to talk about like the night before a game, we used to have like nightly chapel, and it's like everyone always comes to nightly chapel because they they see it's more like oh it's just good luck if I come in here, God <laughs> give me a blessed a good game. Sure. But it's like where's that same intent? Sure. If the, football was over, sure. the season's over, or sure. we had Monday Bible group. Sure. Like, it's not just included to the sport, it's also for sure. life after the sport or when you're not at the tee box, right? Sure, sure. Yeah. But uh, I'm not at the tee box, you're at the tee box, so I'm going to let you go. All right. <laughs> Left side of the car path. Inside out, man. Hang on. Uh, get off the house and come back in. Oh, okay. We're I'm in. good. Hung up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were talking earlier about, we're talking about golf life and faith and how yeah. faith obviously is most important, but we're in the world of golf and mm -hmm. 
course, we're dealing with college college golfers who want to play good golf. Yeah. So, one of the PGA Tour uh, members, partner of our ministry, Scotty Scheffler, hosts nice. a retreat every year, and some guys. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good at golf. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so we we got to one of our Bible studies last semester. We got to talking about him, mm-hmm. and somebody brought up the question and said, "Oh, well, like, so if I just believe in God, like, yeah. my golf's going to be really good? Is that right. how you like win tournaments?" Right. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not yeah. how it works. You yeah. you might yeah. if you have the talent to, right. but it's not it's not believe in God so that you can mm-hmm. be a good golfer. Right. It's believe in God because He's number one. He's going to bring you most joy. Yeah. Even when you have your best days on the course or your worst days on the course. Right. You're going to be able to put it in perspective. Yeah. And sort of and not get super down or super up. Yeah. And so I know he's he's a great example for us on tour. Yeah. And especially for these college guys that you know, want to go shoot six under every round. Yeah. And it doesn't happen. And they're like, what, what's missing? Right. Um, so it's not just God's this crutch. Who's going to help your mm-hmm. golf game. Yeah. Um, he's going to, he's going to help your entire life. Cause yeah. your, your sin needs a savior. Absolutely. And that's our biggest problem. And, yeah. he's, and he solved that. Exactly. Through yeah. Jesus. So uh, 100%. And yeah. again, hope you guys receive that Romans 10, nine says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead and you'll be saved. Won't help your golf game. Maybe but you will be safe. We're thinking <laughs> eternally here. I didn't know he funds uh, you guys. That's yeah, awesome. he's one of our, uh, our president married him and his wife and discipled him when he was at Texas. Oh, nice. So nice, he nice. kind of, in a sense, grew up in the ministry. Right. That works. Yeah, it does. I kind of bladed a little bit, but I can say, hey, on pace. Watched a bunch of Max Homa highlights before I got out here. <laughs> That's a good swing to watch. Yeah. His tempo's amazing. He kind of knows what he's doing. Yeah. Remind me what church you said you go to? Endurance Church of the Valley. Endurance in Tempe. Church of the Valley. Pastor uh, Will Sullivan. Okay. Yeah. That's my dog. Wow. All right. This is what I'm dealing with. Oh, fat. Mm. Dog. As soon as I boast a little bit about chipping, that happens, right? <laughs> I need to tell myself, man, just shut up, bro. Got down here too and then went a total of 10 feet in two shots. Come on. Ugh. Dropping this pin on the green, it's like sounds like it's landing on a mattress. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> Birdie. This man's going for a golf and gospel record. <laughs> In reality, Putnam would have had it, but we made him start. Uh, well, he let us start eight under, <laughs> and still won. Mm. Good roll. Thanks. Another triple? Goodness. I got to give you the credit for my score there for finding my golf ball off the tee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that takes a stroke off. <laughs> Do you? Oh, damn. I love this other joint. It's called uh, it's called On the Tee with Haley Ledbetter on Golf Digest. Okay. I, hadn't, I, hadn't, is I it love on her. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's on the Golf Digest. I love her. She would do stuff like that. She'll give you a point, like, you help me find a ball? Free point. <laughs> or like, oh, nice shoes. You get a free point. Small little town down there in the, they call it LA, Lower Alabama. <laughs> People out here say, where are you from? I say LA, Lower Alabama. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you don't like, sound like it. What? This hole just go a little right? Yeah. Man. Thanks. Stop. You reap what you sow. <laughs> hey guys, I want to take a moment to say uh, shout out to my sponsors. Don't have any sponsors. But Tees Cross Golf just dropped these new tees, man. Go check them out. Support the ministry. Here we go. Oh, back kick. It's all good. How far we are. Yeah, I got you. I got mine right here. Got over. Where to fall? Nice. 
Is it on? Just short of it. Dang it! <laughs> Kept it low on his back foot. Bro, man. I was about to say. Oh, it's mercy. That would have been, been nice. Mercy is Grace's covering you. <laughs> that went in. All right, you have to tap in par. Oh. Ah. I heard how it hit off my club, but it was long. Get you a par, bro. Come on. Oh. Why me? You deserve that. Like and subscribe, guys. You deserve, you deserve that. Gosh, a bogey. That was tracking. Gosh. You had him right there, man. Gosh. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, no. Get down. Crazy, a guy says, oh no, and he hits the green. <laughs> Come on. That's nice. Did that wind take it? Wow. Got it. Wind. The wind took Nice. This man is a dog. <laughs> Might as well finish that. Lip out. Hey, come on. <laughs> Sportsmanship. <laughs> left cup. Left cup. Oh, get it all. Thing is swinging. This pin location is cruel. Yeah. Another bogey. I, I ended the pattern though. I didn't You're go right. triple. You're right there so that's encouraging new pattern new sequence <laughs> starting now all right guys losing by a lot but you know what the most important thing again is the gospel now Amen. speaking about you know college golf and fellowship uh how did you actually get started with this a couple years ago um i met a staff guy and never thought anything of it never even heard had heard of cgf at the time mm -hmm. i was in seminary school i went under the I did end up working for a church here yeah. for four years. Nice. Thought I was gonna do that my whole life and mm -hmm. then kind of met a couple other staff guys and they were like, hey, we'd, we'd love to have you come on staff. And I didn't think they were serious because I didn't play college golf and yeah. I didn't, I just wasn't in that whole world. Yeah. And they kept just kind of coming after me and yeah. then I showed some interest. So last summer I uh, came on staff full time. Oh, recently, okay. Yeah. yeah, so it's been just over a year now. Nice. Um, and so they needed, it's kind of worked out, Lord's provision. We, mm. I was on, on staff at a church here in Phoenix mm -hmm. and they didn't have a staff guy in Phoenix mm. and they're they're trying to grow and, and nice. spread. Um, and so naturally a lot of golf going on for in Phoenix. Sure. So yeah. they wanted to hire someone here and we were living here. So kind of a good transition for yeah. us. And so, yeah, as you can imagine, a lot of people here that golf, but also a lot of college golf teams here. Yeah. Um, on all levels, so yeah, Arizona um, State, GCU. Yeah, yeah we, I'm just, Arizona I'm just kind of, yeah, that's right. I'm just kind of one of our, pretty much. We have our, our founders, our executive mm -hmm. team, and then just kind of field staff, yeah. what we call them. Yeah. Um, just located all throughout the country in different cities. So nice. I'm the only one in Phoenix. Hopefully, one day we'll have another staff guy here with for me. sure, for sure. So. so any college golfers that's watching this episode, man, check out College Golf and Fellowship, and uh, don't check out my swing. It'll be your tee box again. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Do not be intimidated. Noah, do you ever just, every time you're out here with me, like, man, he's doing good. Now he's doing bad again. It's like, you know, it ebbs and flows, man. Noah never knows where he's going to get one. And I'm out here. No way. I have no idea where it went when it hit the tree. Yeah. Good old breakfast. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Get over that. Okay. Don't go. I might be in the bunker. It's a good shot though. Yep, thanks. They put that bunker right in the worst spot. <laughs> Too far. Wow, that's... I pretty, love that tempo. That's pretty good that's there. Really Hardest shot in golf right there. 
Hey, 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 y'all heard him. Seriously. Y'all heard him. I don't want to ever be right there. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Pull the stop in front of the hole. This pin's cruel, too. You said what? This pin. I know, bro. Gee. Get it. <sighs> I'll finish. Now removing that pin for me, sir. Yeah. Thank you kindly. All right, long par here. Go, 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 go. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> Every time, bro, stop hitting the brakes. <laughs> yeah, good stroke. I bogey. like the stroke. Thanks. Gone that Three bogeys in a row? Hey, 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 started off pretty bad. <laughs> Got a little bogey streak going. <laughs> it's about it's perspective, perspective. So I wanna throw you a, I don't say throw you off guard. I'm gonna throw you off guard though. Sure. See where your mind is at in regards to this. We're gonna have a little fun here, guys. So let's say you had to create, turn yourself into the perfect golf with these specific categories. I wanna know whose traits you would take. So let's start off with okay. driving ability. Who's driving ability with you? You can only pick them one time, dude. We're talking like pros, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless you I wanna, mean, you no, want, you want no to question, Rory. Okay. I mean, yeah, he's the best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In that category. In that category. Okay. He's not the goat. Of all I, time, I was about to say some stuff. He's not the best. But okay. I gotta go. Really. Oh, nice. Deep. What about uh, iron play? Give me hovel. Okay. I mean, that dude strikes it. He is, and like I said, I personally think he will be number one golfer in the future. I think Ian Scott, if you watch this, I do love you. If you don't know me. But that man's just playing out his mind. Now, if you if you yeah, watch this, it's Scott. Yeah, yeah. You have a chance. You have a chance. I said have a chance. Scott, if you do see this, you prove me wrong, bro. I'll eat my words. <laughs> I'm put them in the same category. Approach shop chippy. Okay. Great. I feel like I'm betraying the US by picking all these <laughs> picking all these Euros. They just won, so. <laughs> um, I know he's not. This is, so you're throwing chipping you, in there with it? Okay, this one's separate. Like... separate everything. Let's go approach shot first, then chip. Okay, approach shot. I mean, again, I know it's not going to look good because he's not in form right now. Yeah. But I mean, JT. Okay. Is, yeah. Knows how to strike it. That's fair. That's fair. So, no. But what about chipping now? Chipping. I've always loved speed short game. Okay. Loved it. Nice. Nice. He can, nice. I'll never forget that that bunker shot he hit at TBC. Oh yeah. Shot still yeah. in yeah. Uh, seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Greller called it the best shot he's yeah. ever seen to be hit. Yeah. That was incredible. Nice. Yeah. And last but not least, we we'll love a one putt here. Two at max. Who's putting in Billy? Would you take? There's a third one so good putting. Man, I'm kind of blinking. <laughs> um, I put you on the spot. No, I, I should know this. I mean, I feel like I can't pick Scotty now. Shoot, man. I mean, I feel like Rom is always dialed. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, the, some of the long putts he's made with pressure. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the win. I mean, the one in the U.S. Open. Yeah. Some of the. That one he made, I can't remember the terminal on the PJ Tour, but he made like that 60 footer to go to a playoff and yeah. made a bomb to win. Yeah. That dude always rolls it really good. Nice. I'll, I'll, I'll go the wrong. Well, here we go, man. So you just create, so you should win every tournament there. That's, <laughs> should. that's the mindset you should. should go in with. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Absolutely. Guys, again, please like and subscribe. Share the golf, share the gospel, but the golf with the gospel. <laughs> there we go. I get my depth perception all gets off in the out here in Phoenix sometimes. Why is that? I don't know. It's like the maybe the landscape. Nice. <sighs> wow. That was gonna be good. It's crazy. What did I say prior though? <laughs> you see did it did it's it ricochet a, anywhere? It's just in the right rough. It's fine. <sighs> I said we should not hit that tree. <laughs> hit it. If I was really skilled, I would go drive off the deck, but. Oh, yeah? Not doing it. Nice. Yep. Too much air again, though. And it's spinning right. Fine. Spinning right. Pins in the front. Front? Yeah. You had a one yet? Hold on. No, I'm waiting. You'll get one. I've had one uh, roll across the hole, which oh, is yeah. crazy. 
And then uh, Torrance almost had one like a week and a half ago, but then he two putted for par. <laughs> almost made a hole in one. Made a par. Yeah, so I parted. <laughs> short dang thought that was money it, it, it's probably french i was going for the albatross though <laughs> yeah can't you can't make an albatross when you're short it's true come on go oh oh that looked good right next to you i still got par look you got, you got an eagle you got a birdie look yeah, if I can, yeah. You chip yeah. that in. Yeah. Damn. Oh, good contact. It was online, though. Yeah. Should I move mine? That's all right. Okay. Eagle. Oh! <laughs> that hit, too. <laughs> that lipped. A little firm. Wow. All right, par putt. Bogey. Wow, both of us. Wow. Mm. Mm. Now again, perspective. I hit a tree. Fish with bogey. True. Good. True. Driving range versus the week is Proverbs 12.25. It says, anxiety weighs a man's heart down, but a good word cheers him up. What words are you using? Now back to this episode of Golf and Gospel. I like secular hip hop, but I like secular hip hop that tells a story. Yeah, yeah. Not that's promoting like crazy stuff. Sure. Like, I love J. Cole and Kendrick. Now granted with Kendrick, Lamar's last album, uh, I don't agree with his eternal views now. Uh-huh. Because he's, apostasized might be a strong word, but it seems like he has. Mm. He thinks, he's more like new ageism, mm. uh, kind of Israelitish right now but like the vulnerability of it, that last album he had because he was pretty much was talking about how he was dealing with lust and like sleeping around and hmm. he wants to pull away from that so hmm. i respect the album hmm. but the eternal views i don't so i know how to separate them so was he beforehand like a uh, outspoken like believer or just not yes like... he was now granted like i mean he has some demons in his closet sure that's what he talked about in his last album yeah and i sincerely think this will happen i think he was trying to get away from like cheating and sleeping around yeah and he felt as now Kendrick if you ever watch this I don't know if it's true but this is my opinion um I think he keeps saying like man this gospel's not working I'm still struggling with these lustful desires and yeah. falling to sexual temptation yeah then he said you know I'm gonna try a new way and then now mm. he's doing like Eckhart Tolle and his mm. teachings which essentially is like that God's in all of us already we just have to like work to bring it out. But then I'm like, that contradicts receiving the Holy Spirit. Right. If he's already in us. Right. But to say all that, I mean, I like the album because he was vulnerable with it. I love J. Cole a lot. Mm -hmm. Love his storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot. I will be dropping. Ugh. Oh. Well, like I said, life is fragile. Yeah, get in the hole. Get in the hole. All right. We'll see. Let's hope that ball is missing when we get up there. <laughs> if I go straight across, can't probably. be more. Can't be more. Let me see. Seventy. Seventy. Oh wow. You know your stuff. There we go. Just can't swing the club. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> You're right. Let don't, me let me don't, don't tell yourself that. that. You're right. All right, drop it. Get on. Nice. Right. Thanks. Nicely done. Unfortunately, I was hitting three. Got to make a one putt. That's right. Oh, Holy the sand. Moly. Just got smoked by a golf ball. They just hit into us? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's nowhere to go. I know. That Max Homer approach shot. <laughs> Trying to channel it. <laughs> All right, I need the one puff apart here at the drop. Just hitting three back there. 
They're slow. They're slow. Little downhill. Knock it in. Knock it in. Pars. Every <laughs> hole. Let's keep the trend going. That is crazy, bro. It was turning. Oh, it was. I was gonna tell you don't be short, but I know you knew that already. <laughs> Dang. Well, another bogey, which. Guys, I do encourage you. I hope you made it this far. Negate that first hole, please. Please. <laughs> don't don't leave after that. Birdie. Jeez, man, it's freaking two under. Is that a four? Huh? Four? Is that number eight? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a part, is that a long part, right? That was a lot of part four. Oh, short part four. That's why you say you can hold it out, man. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I had a two. That's what I say. Did you? Oh, you got on. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was thinking it was a part three when I watched the green. Wow. You got our first oh, eagle on golf and gospel, man. Woo! That is amazing. Dang. Well, not to kill the momentum, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing really we talked about earlier was how you guys obviously are trying to integrate Jesus in the golf, but you want to make sure you're just integrating Jesus into people's life. 100%. So why? Do you think it's important for people to get their life to Christ? Yeah. Yeah, great question. Uh, number one, it's, it's worth it. It's the best decision we can ever make. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like with CGF, we know that a lot of these kids that are playing college golf aren't going to play professional golf. For sure. And that's not saying they're bad at golf. That's yeah, just yeah. The, the stats. Right. There's not that many people they can play pro. Right. And so what are they going to go do when they graduate? Right. They're going to work normal jobs. We can, they call them normal jobs. Yeah. They're going to go be businessmen. They're going to go, you know, into different industries. And we want them to be leaders and lights in those places. Right. And so it's not just like, oh, we're just trying to reach you so that, like, when you become a professional golfer, you can share Jesus. So, yeah, we want to equip them for life. Right. For, for the, the more preparing for the woman uh, they're going to marry. Yeah. Um, yeah. If God calls them to that, yeah. and for the job that they're going to hold. And, and all aspects of life so yeah. we just you know we're not trying to we're big into stories and we want to we want to introduce jesus to people's stories and help them find their place in god's story not yeah. just try to work god into their lives mm -hmm. in a couple different places mm -hmm. because in matthew 6 right he says what seek first the matthew kingdom 6 of god 3, 3, 3, 33 not yeah. 3, 3, yeah and then what then he'll add these things to you right and it's not to get those things mm -hmm. but when he's number one then everything else falls in place. Yeah. So that's our that's our hope, man. That's good, man. That's the same thing I hope, man. Like I said earlier, my pastor always talks about do we actually care about the destination of the person's soul? So guys, when you watch this, um again, I hope you do enjoy the golf. Um or enjoy my ebbs and flows of golf, but I would say the priority is the gospel. And I want to reach souls, man. Um we all have a responsibility as believers. It doesn't have to be done from the pulpit can be done from a golf cart, That's right. can be done from your living room, um, but we have a responsibility to share the gospel in hopes to uh, just plant seeds. It's not our job to save them, but we're planting the seed in sure. hopes, you know, God waters that seed and they fully surrender to him. So, yeah. um, good take, bro. Congratulations on getting the first eagle on the channel, <laughs> which is crazy. Thank you. Uh, we got one more hole here, guys. Uh, I'm for sure losing and going to lose, but I'm, I'm very proud of my last one, two, three, four, five holes. So. Solid stuff. See you at the tee box. So I was reading the first five books, but then I got bored at numbers and I bailed. Dude, <laughs> yeah. you're not alone. I've gotten to where like I, I fail at reading plans, yeah. but there's a with all the podcast stuff, there's something called the Bible recap. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. Heard of that? yeah. With uh, Tara Lee Collins. Yeah, yep, yep. Dude, she's good. She is. Makes it very just understandable and yeah. Bro, you might be. Oh boy, is it? Oh no, I'm sorry. Might be five or seven with fairway hits, bro. Not the first hole, that's for sure. Not the first hole and then the and then one that bounced car path and over. Yep. I think everything else you've been fairway hits. Shoot, outside in. Make that hard turn right. Heard it, drop it. You know what you're doing. I know, I just wanted to stop. topic i said guys it's over so again the words of fat perez from bob does sports I'm playing for my family <laughs> uh.
fairly extended. All right. Like that. Easy to do when the ball's not there. I know, right? That dog's scared. Dude, I'm so be. scared, dog. Oh, are you? Oh my god. Mm. Where'd you land? Oh, I went right. I was looking down. Over at those palms. Oh man, terrible lock. Turns like my feet. Yeah. Dang. Sorry. Hit the back of the ground. And I lifted my head up. Check. Oh. Right, long bogey putt. I said the drop hurt. Nice roll. What was that for? That uh, was for Bert. Four. Okay. Bert. Yeah, because you, you don't go past the bar. Oh! All day. It's not been a friendly hole today. Ugh. Another one. Hey, man. Nice Thank playing you, with brother. you, bro. Absolutely. Great time. It's hey, a guys. Pleasure. Uh, he won by a long shot. <laughs> but uh, please follow my guy on Twitter at drgannon underscore 13. And guys, go check out College Golf and Fellowship, man. Any college golfers that are watching this, uh, check them out, listen to the podcast. Uh, pray about what signing up to yeah. participate. Yeah, find a local staff guy. Yeah. If you're in Phoenix, it's me. Yep. If you're in other cities, check us out on collegegolffellowship.com. Uh, yep. And uh, read more about us there. Events, retreats coming up. Love to have you. Absolutely, man. Appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe. Out of here. Oh, man. Oh, great. Yeah,